Hello and welcome dear friends. In uh, today's episode, I thought to myself that um, it will be nice to share with you some of my vintage mechanical pens. You probably know my main uh, focus on this channel are uh, collecting fountain pens, but in my journey of uh, searching uh, new models of fountain pens, I often find mechanical pencils, even ballpoint pens, that uh, I find quite, quite interesting. Of course, I don't uh, actively collect them, if um, it happens to if i happen to find them and i like them and i find and um, i can get them for reasonable prices they uh, come also when i'm uh, visiting foreign countries or some cities i've never been to and i visit uh, flea markets or uh, antique stores i always buy a remember piece from that town and if I can't find fountain pens I um, buy mechanical pencil and this was the case with this one when I had the visited uh, the beautiful town of Amsterdam in the Netherlands I bought this wonderful wonderful sterling silver I believe 9 to 5 or 800, I'm not, not so sure. If it's 9 to 5, it's sterling silver, but um, I'm pretty sure that this is a silver. And um, I did not know exactly what I paid for it. And uh, probably I will leave a link to the video uh, at the top of the screen. But this is one example. I found it uh, relatively cheaply. I think it was under 100 euros or uh, 50, 60 euros, something like that. But it was a wonderful, wonderful piece. They did not have fountain pens. So uh, this is personalized in Harlem. Harlem actually is um, a small town near um, Amsterdam and not uh, that uh, neighborhood of New York, Harlem. Quite uh, interesting. Um, for me, those mechanical pencils are uh, really a mystery, and maybe we will make a series searching about their history, and especially the, f the leads, the, um, the mines that they w used. I've read somewhere that uh, some type of mines are not longer in production, so I believe they are related to the diameter right over there. I also don't know how to open this to fill it. It, it should open like this. I don't want to break it, guys. Probably I will uh, search their history. This is again a wonderful, wonderful piece, as you can see. Some nice uh, little design elements, quite, quite a beautiful, beautiful piece. And let me show you what else I have. So I will start with those which are, uh, I believe, full functional uh, writing instruments, but I also have uh, a spare part. Some gentlemen sold me a lot of, uh, I believe, two or three functional mechanical pencils, and the rest of them were scrap pieces. Uh, you will see, not in a good shape, but I thought to myself, why not? Probably 80% of them are made out of silver, and but they have also mechanical pieces. I won't scrap them for metal, guys, because uh, they are really, really... I think rare pieces. I'm not an expert in mechanical pencils again. Uh, what do I have here? Let me zoom on it. Some of them have their producer's names engraved right over here. And this is something from Paris. A duck. Probably I've heard of a Dakota, but this is only a duck Paris. Another uh, mechanical pencil. This has the mine right over there. It has a nice pattern here. I'm not so sure it's sterling is silver because um, they used to put the hallmark of silver right on he over here 
or maybe at the top probably not a silver piece but again a wonderful wonderful piece don't ask me what did i pay for it because it was probably part of a lot but i usually don't pay a large sum of money for those uh, so but consider all of them under 50 euros they are not uh, mont blanc or other brands so um, in my point of view even if they are made out of silver I don't pay more than 50 euros for a piece like this. Let me put this aside. Let me show you another beauty. And uh, let's uh, zoom on it. Probably also French. And uh, the clue is written right over here. And it's quite Columb Columbus. Not French, but Italian. A nice piece again i'm not so sure it's silver but uh, definitely gold plated and another mechanical pencil from my collection yes columbus i believe it's an italian brand okay let me continue and again a very beautiful art deco piece we have uh, a logo right over here like a crown or something like that let me zoom for you to see guys yes you can see like a crown and uh, no imprint of the producer uh, engraving of the producer at the top let me see also gold plated probably also an italian or a french manufacturer i'm not so sure but again a mechanical pencil very very nice piece probably from the 1920s 1930s it has that art deco style and this i don't think it's a mechanical pencil maybe it's a ballpoint pen let me see let me check it out so it has a, no it's an interesting interesting multi probably a multi-colored mechanical piece if i um yes it has different colors and this is not a ballpoint point point but uh, different colors of the lead uh, mine and this probably is a calendar with the days of uh, the week and they are in french lunedi martedi mercoledi giovedi venerdi sabato domenica probably french or italian i'm not so sure but also a very interesting, interesting mechanical pencil, a more multicolored one, and probably a quite expensive piece. Let me put also this aside. Let me continue. So guys, probably I will continue with this one, and after that I will show you the spare parts, and we will continue with the rest of them. Let me zoom on this one. And... Yes, this is definitely silver, guys. Look what I was talking about. Not sterling silver, but 835 uh, silver. Uh, it has a little bit of a dent here, a dent here, but probably this particular piece has uh, 100 years, at least 100 years. Not so sure about the manufacturer, again, probably a German or an Italian piece let me put also aside this one so gently I will put those aside I will put those aside and guys let me show you some of the pieces I bought from uh, that lot what a shame that they are not um, functional and they are just uh, little pieces this is part of the mechanism, inside mechanism of one of those uh, beauties. Of course, this is metal, not silver. Only the outer layer was made out of uh, silver. Let me see, this is almost a complete piece. When you see those uh, jewels at the top of the mechanical pencils, uh, they uh, were made probably in um, the late... Uh, 20th century so uh, 1895 or something like that I don't know how it was operated it has some hallmarks here but they are faded away let me try to 
show them to you. Look here, an A, probably the gold plating, I'm not so sure, and uh, this is the piece. Don't ask me how it was used, I don't know, but look at this wonderful, wonderful decorative piece over here, probably a piece of glass, very, very nice. And let me take them like this, I will show them two pieces. Uh, this, look at these wonderful inlaid models. Again, broken here, but look at this wonderful, wonderful piece. Probably made out of silver, no hard marks, no visible hard marks. But look at the beautiful, beautiful decorations. This has a simple decorations, again, parts part of a functional piece but I received it like it is probably if I will start to play with them to see how the mechanisms work and try to restore some of them probably they will be very very useful but again they are pieces made for specific specific models and uh, probably I won't find the specific models. Look at this wonderful piece. Again, very, very narrow and um, easy to use. Probably the ladies used them a lot to take notes at the beginning of the 20th century. Quite nice. Let me show them other piece parts and those seem to have the same uh, pattern probably from the same uh, instrument probably someone in time tested if they are solid uh, silver or not i'm not so sure about those markings look at what a wonderful wonderful pattern right over here a shame it is uh, broken look at this interesting thing Again, another broken piece from a uh, pencil, retractive pencil. I have um, one in uh, my collection, an American piece, and it has also this retractive style. Uh, this has a mechanical pencil on this side, and on that side it has a beautiful, beautiful nib. It was quite interesting, so similar to that uh, American model. Probably all that you see here were made in uh, Europe. Again, another piece. Some of you out there collect those type of uh, instruments and they are familiar with uh, what I am showing. For me, they are uh, like uh, true puzzles. And um, But I thought it, was, uh, it would be a nice thing to show them to you so other pieces other beautiful beautiful pieces again a shame they are broken another interesting part in this twisted uh, pattern very nice very very nice I'm searching also for um, imprints or uh, for stamps for uh, silver this another inside piece and we are done to the last ones, guys. This one, you can see. Another twisted pattern, this one. And um, a shame they are in uh, this condition. Probably, I won't fix them. Just um, present them to you. They are for, from uh, quite rare, rare um, pieces. Someone um, put them aside. They were probably put for uh, scrapping, for scrap metal, and for their content of silver. But what a shame to lose uh, such beautiful, beautiful pieces. And I'm down to the last two pieces. Here, this one. And probably this is a container. 
but no it looks like a container of uh, spare mines and look at this wonderful wonderful piece again with this uh, beautiful little uh, part over here you could hold it uh, around your necklace there were also interesting um, little notes for ladies when they participated in those uh, large balls and uh, it was called um, some gentlemen asked them if they wanted to dance and they had a little notepad and uh, they uh, uh, wrote on uh, that notepad the name of the gentlemen that asked them to dance of course there were limited uh, numbers of dances so the uh, first one first serve i guess but uh, quite quite a nice pieces from uh, lost times okay guys those are the spare parts i thought it was interesting to show them also to you i'm sorry this video will take so long but it is a nice piece or uh, a side piece of my fountain pen collection and i think that uh, it is a wonderful thing to show uh, this part of um, my passion for collecting writing instruments let me see this beautiful one and again we have a silver piece guys let me zoom on this little clip to show you i believe it's 830 this is old silver nowadays we have 925 or 900 pieces this another wonderful wonderful uh, mechanical pencil we have a, a clue here about the manufacturer engraved we have ever everest everest interesting everest the peak of the mountain so an everest mechanical pencil quite an old pencil all made out of silver 800 silver okay let me put this aside let's continue another interesting mechanical pencil probably this um, part is made out of celluloid this is a metal look at those wonderful wonderful details and i will zoom on them we have eight k and some other ab abbreviations so probably it means it is gold plated using 18 karat gold and the plating you can see it stood the test of time quite quite well look at this wonderful wonderful clip also beautifully ornated this part has uh, lost its gold plating but another interesting detail at the top of the cap probably it has seen some uh, restoration some repair work here in its lifetime and judging by the beautiful work of uh, the body i think it is an italian piece also specific to the italian market we have that 18 carat and uh, some of uh, you out there think that this is a solid 18 carat body but no let me tell you this is just gold plated um it is an honest mistake when you see 18 carat you think you're yourself uh, we have a uh, solid silver uh hard mark but not uh, in this case another interesting and i believe this is also solid silver pan mechanical pencil sorry yes definitely a mechanical pencil and i am looking for the hallmark of silver because i think for sure that this is silver and again on the uh, top of the clip and i'm not so sure if we have 800 or 50 or 950 and this lighting is quite quite uh, difficult to tell and i lost my zoom sorry guys let me see maybe 900 silver and another interesting fact that this is personalized is a monogram is a png i think yes p you recognize p and that i think is a g uh, this 
judging by the way it's built, probably a German piece, and I'm not so sure about the ears probably being such a fat little one, probably 1920s, 1930s, I don't know for sure, maybe older. Let me put this aside. This is not a real mechanical pencil, but it's part of my collection. This is silver and it hosts a pen. Interesting pen. LNC Hardmuth Vienna. This was a manufacturer from uh, Bohemia, the Czechoslovakia, HB Kohinor, Kohinor, that famous jewel in the crown of Britain, that famous Indian jewel. And um, I am searching for the hallmark of silver because this is certainly made out of silver. And usually, yes, we have a little hallmark here. But also, I believe on this ring you should have a hallmark of silver. And look at this pattern. This is a wonderful, wonderful pattern. I don't see the hallmark, but it was tested. Definitely, this is a silver casing for a simple pen, a simple pencil. Let me put this aside. Let me continue with this one. I will zoom on it quite fast. Again, a nice, nice pattern. Probably it lacks the original clip there. And uh, this is it. Not like the old ones that were beautifully done, beautifully finished. A simple dome here, a metallic dome. And again, no hallmark of silver and uh, no engraving of the producer this is a simple mechanical pen another mechanical pen this is a small one and you can see probably it was gold plated but the gold plating has faded away this is an american one a wall ever sharp silver plated made in usa silver plated so this could be silver and plated gold plated i'm not so sure because i don't see the hallmark of silver and also this one it appears that it had something on the top of it very interesting american mechanical pencil and again another mechanical pencil i believe from eversharp yes eversharp written right over there quite a nice nice ending the beautiful clip and uh, this is it i like the beautiful uh, contrast between the silver and the black it always works it is a classic beauty and again guys look at this wonderful thing probably this is made out of silver let me show them it to you it starts with this pattern and it continues with that pattern Again, we have C silver and we have 9 to 5, so this is sterling silver. Unfortunately, I believe that this is missing something from the top of the cap right over here. And I'm not so sure what it is. But a wonderful and definitely a luxury mechanical pencil back in its day. Okay, let me continue. This seems a little bit modern. And... Uh, I will present it to you, quite nice, again silver, and we have 835 right over here. When I see 835 I think to myself a uh, German piece, I'm not so sure why, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe you know better uh, based on this design, and this is what uh, an interesting design right over here. And uh, for me, it speaks 1920s Art Deco. I'm not so sure. Another interesting, beautiful, beautiful thing. And look at this wonderful, solid mechanical pencil. It has a red um, a mine and uh, a lead, uh, red lead uh, right over here. It has something uh, beautifully, beautifully decorated. And what is interesting, it ends in this little 
think very very beautiful maybe some hallmarks here no i don't think so but also i believe silver i don't think i tested this quite interesting and i like it a lot okay guys and i'm down to the last three of them interesting those mechanical pencils were made also from um, this material which i believe is celluloid and uh, i think that this is a french made mechanical pencil very very discreet very very little definitely for a lady's purse and um, now i'm down to the last two of them let me start with the most uh, basic one um, you can see they were made also basic so without um, specific decorations on them but uh, some of you like this simple simple design simple design an interesting clip here and another monogram and i want to show it to you irbi i'm not so sure maybe a firm back in the 1920s or 1930s but look at this wonderful wonderful simple design beautiful beautiful in its simplicity and functionality okay and now yeah i'm down to the last one again very very a uh, little it has uh, this ring at the top of it so definitely made for wear for probably used by ladies and yes we have a silver engraving here and it's 800 so old old silver an old old piece with this wonderful wonderful pattern and the last piece tell me guys what you think um they are definitely interesting pieces although i collect fountain pens mm, those are really really interesting writing instruments and i think i will dedicate some of my budget in uh, uh, buying them and share them with you guys tell me what you think do you want to see other mechanical pencils uh, episodes unboxings and maybe reviews i will also try to restore some of them but uh, they have some uh, quite complicated mechanisms inside of them i hope uh, that uh, they will bring me joy it will be a journey probably you've seen uh, monday i dedicated the monday episode to ballpoint pens and probably i will dedicate a day of the week on uh, discovering those interesting mechanical pencils i've also been uh, searching into plain pencils and um, i will start with some uh, interesting german producers of pencils and um, we'll see how it goes guys thank you for your time thank you for watching this uh, part of my collection I want to wish you to have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Till then, bye-bye. And God bless you all, my dear friends.